you know, I've always had a healthy respect for, for black bears and bears in general. It's just, it's a cool animal, an aggressive, big animal that like, you know, it's got that intimidation factor, you know. Um, there's something about big game in general, but white-tailed deer, they'll get your heart going when you got, you know, your sights on one or when you're, when you're trying to hunt one. But when the animal could potentially hunt you, there's just a whole nother level, you know, just a whole nother level. And so uh, I've always had that, that respect for bears. I've always, you know, thought it'd be really, really cool, like a dream hunt to get out and start doing some bear hunting. But until about a year ago, I didn't have an opportunity to do that. And so um, this last year, since we bought F5 Farm, I've been really, really excited about potentially hunting bears, not really knowing how many were here or any of that kind of stuff until we got cameras up and started to do a little bit of work and started to put in the effort. And the neat thing is this giant, big, aggressive creature is like the sneakiest thing on the farm, right? Like I can hear squirrels right now over there, right? And they're this little thing. But a bear, we've got tons of them. We've got tons of bears on the farm and you rarely see them. You rarely see any sign of them. They're just this sneaky, giant beast. And so I've got even more respect for the bear than I did maybe a year back. And so the last month or so, we've been getting real dialed in, setting up these bait sites. You know, in Minnesota here, we bait bear. Some states use dogs, some use bait. We use bait in Minnesota. Been getting the bait sites dialed in, been feeding them an hour, hour and a half every day, working hard to keep things ready to rock so that when we got here on opening day, hopefully we'd have a little bit of habit built and the bears would be where we wanted to when, where we wanted them when we wanted them there. And uh, so I've been watching cameras, keeping an eye on things, and they are. They're coming most days around five, six, seven o'clock for a little snack and then they're out, but they do what they want. And so we'll, we'll see how things go here today. Um, optimistic, obviously, anticipation's high as we get ready to go. And I think realistically, whether we get one or not, this last month or so has been a really, really cool experience. Just getting to know the black bear in general, all of them that live here in the woods, right up back in the house, and just starting to understand kind of how they do what they do. So we'll find out. We'll see how this goes. The expectations in general for today's hunt are first and foremost, just I'd love to see a bear, right? I mean, put in all this time, I've got lots of bear pictures. I've got plenty of sightings from like five, 600 yards away, but I haven't seen one up close and personal yet. Like not, not like right up in my face. And so if I could see a bear, whether it was a shooter or not, whether it was a bear that I choose to take today and harvest or not, uh, you know, in the 20, 30 yard range, doing its thing through the woods, not knowing we're there, that'd be pretty special, that'd be pretty neat. It's one of those 
get those doubts, right? Where you're like, did I do everything I should have done? Did I put in enough for the work on the front end? You know, where you got that lull for an hour, hour and a half, and you just kind of second guess yourself. I know I did enough. I know I did all the right stuff. But you still get that feeling in your gut like maybe I could have done something more. So, the games we play with ourselves in the tree stand. <laughs> One of the cool things about hunting is it lets you know that uh, you're not the boss. <laughs> uh, you know, the closest thing we saw to a black bear today is my dog, Scout. And you know what? Um, I think all of that, when you finally do harvest an animal, leads to uh, just gratitude, right? It makes you grateful because you could sit in the woods a long time and not see a critter, right? <laughs> Even after you did everything right. Uh, you know, I fully expected we'd, we'd see a, a bear tonight. You know, there was no doubt in my mind that we'd see something and we'd probably have a, a choice to pass if it was a small one or take a big one or maybe chase mama out so that, because uh, we weren't going to shoot the, the, the sow with the cubs. And so maybe chase her off the, off the bait so we could get a, another younger boar in there or something like that. But not a peep. <laughs> So it's still hunting, you know, uh, it's a hunt uh, and I'm excited to check cameras in the morning and see what happened. See if they just came an hour late or see if they ducked us all together or, you know, who knows. But uh, get a little recon in and then uh, back at it tomorrow. Yeah, so after day one, you know, zero activity, nothing going on in the woods. I mean, plenty of squirrels, plenty of the stuff that gets your heart going, makes you think there's something going on. Day two, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I know a few bear bears got taken within about a mile of here. So a few less hunters in the woods today. Maybe a, a, a few less baits that are that were reset today. Um, we'll have to see. We've got perfect wind to hit the other stand. So that's good news. We're, we're shooting, you know, going somewhere new today. And uh, heading over there now. We'll get in there plenty early. And we do have activity on that, that, that bait every day for the last week or so. Hopefully we have a little bit more productive day two here and uh, hopefully we harvest a bear. easy to get. Brutal. I can't believe I haven't seen one. These bears are tricky buggers, I'll tell you that. Whatever that is, it's just in the woods, but that's about it. Yeah, I don't understand it. I mean, I guess that's the cool part about what we're doing out here is um, we're kind of in nature's world. They're not in ours for a minute. You know, as I was sitting there tonight, I'm thinking, you know, this is like a couple of, one of the few 
situations in life where like I can't just work my way through it right like I'm a grinder like I usually will just work harder well once you're in the stand and you've done the work they either show up or they don't <laughs> I can't like will it into into being and uh, so it's this kind of unique thing you know if I'm a sales guy so like by day if I'm not hitting the numbers I want to hit, I just make more phone calls. I just call more people, uh, you know, for shooting. Like if I want to get better at it and compete at a higher level, I just shoot more rounds. I just practice more. When it comes to hunting, like if I want to be a better hunter, I'm going, what do I wait quieter? Like, <laughs> pretty sure I'm pretty quiet. Like, uh, I don't think that's it. And so, um, that's the neat thing, I guess, new adventure, learning, uh, as much as possible. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this last couple of days has affected what goes on in the woods. You know, all those hunters. You know, while we are here in the middle of what appears to be nowhere, we're not. I'm 90 minutes from the Minneapolis airport. And so there are hunters out in these woods. And many of them shot bears yesterday. And so um, the bears that have been hitting my bait every day could have been some of those bears. Um, the bears that have been hitting my bed every day could be scared and nervous. Uh, a million different things could be popping up, right? So, um, just going to keep on, keep it on. Get one of these bears. We're going to make this happen. I'm going to eat a bear heart one of these nights. It's going to happen. And I'm not going to take no for an answer. I'll tell you that much. So, we're going to keep grinding. And sooner or later, there'll be a black bear on the ground. I'll tell you that much. Bear hunting. Bear hunting's one of those things that I thought I had a plan, I thought I had all figured out, and I had taken all the steps. All of them. It was one of those things I thought I had figured out until I didn't. <laughs> uh, seven nights in, maybe 29 hours into the hunt, seven days in a row, sitting out in that stand for four or five hours watching squirrels. The occasional hawk, you know, you get your uh, ducks and geese on the pond, but overall, just knowing that I'm not in control, right? In one of the odd situations in life where I can't really make it happen. Just like no amount of effort is going to fix this and just make it happen. You just got to put in the work, put in the time. And I guess it just kind of built this lesson in me or helped me realize that the lessons that I live by, which is that don't give up, don't quit, just do what you have to do, put in the time, put in the work and eventually eventually not now not later i mean maybe later maybe not it'll pay off it'll pay off and so one of those one of those situations where i just got into the grind got into the suck i enjoy hunting i enjoy sitting in the woods but there's a point where you're thinking is this really gonna happen like, <laughs> i spent three weeks an hour and a half a day filling those bait pits work every day no days off set up the stands perfect never winding the bait, canoe access, like working my tail off to do all the things that I've read, all the things that I've talked to the old schoolers about, all of it. I love it. I love, I love the experience, the adventure, the inner turmoil that comes with a hardcore hunt that where you're just starting to question your motives and starting to wonder, am, am I, am I going to get this done? You know that early optimism that you get when you're starting a season or starting a hunt? That's gone. <laughs> now it's a grind. And I've done this before and I've grinded out, you know, uh, six, seven, ten, twelve day, you know, whatever. I'm just going to get this bear. So, good.
good news is uh, early season goose open, hammered a couple geese. Makes me feel pretty good. We got one in the crock pot right now, so we're eating, we're eating wild game. I like that. Anyway, obviously we'd be excited about getting a bear here tonight, but I'm committed and mentally I've just like set up that this could be a grind. This could be a couple of week deal. And I'm gonna do my time, sit the stand, enjoy the weather, and I'm gonna shoot a bear. Eventually. straight 30 hours close to it sitting in the stand I was about to take the day off thank goodness I didn't take the day off what a hunt solid week straight I think it came down to Nature just knew. I had no quit in me. <laughs> okay, that's not it. <laughs> Praise God. Pretty awesome. What's funny is for like four or five days, every squirrel, every sparrow, every noise in the woods, you're sure it's a bear. <laughs> sure, positive it's a bear. Like, Gun up, make sure my dot's on, ready to shoot, squirrel, nothing, right? Uh, and the squirrels and sparrows and all that stuff make all that noise. Well, the cool thing about a black bear, the shocking thing about a black bear was no noise, zero. It's every placement of its foot was perfect. No twigs breaking, no rustling of the grass. I mean, it came through a little slot. I, I would have never imagined. I put a barricade behind the bait pit and it stuck through that without rattling nothing. It was awesome. It was really neat to see. Just came through, it was super careful. I thought I was gonna lose the opportunity because it came in, it came toward me and I'm not taking a quartering toward me shot on a black bear. I'm not gonna do it. Their bone structure's too heavy. Uh, I'm not gonna injure an animal. I wanted to get a good clean harvest and uh, started then walking away over to the north, got behind some trees, and I was like, oh, man, I, like, turn around. <laughs> Come on, after a week, you got to give me this swing. And so I get the dot on, turned around, and uh, executed a good shot. Uh, right in the heart, actually. Uh, and I don't love to shoot animals in the heart because I love to eat the heart. So I was a little disappointed that when I got that animal field dressed and I got that heart in my hand, it was, it was mush. But... At the same point, happy I got a really good shot on it. Really clean kill on that animal. Didn't have to suffer. Went down and uh, blessed my family and I with uh, some awesome meat.
Obviously, day one, I wish we had seen a bear and I could have shot it. But after all of this, and now that knowing the bear came anyway, mm, that's really good. I'd take it just the way it happened. Just the way life works out a lot of times. Put in the work, eventually the, the payoff comes, and it was sweet. So, pretty excited. Executed a successful hunt, harvested a great little black bear, and uh, excited to share that harvest with friends, family over the course of the next year. And uh, looking forward to future black bear hunts here on F5. And who knows, might do some elsewhere as well. <laughs>